Today, we will learn how to play Riddle Stones with Carmen. In Riddle Stones, the goal is to solve some puzzle grids by clicking the correct squares but not on the incorrect ones. The numbers above and on the left of the grid will give you some clues. Each number indicates a group of consecutive correct squares without incorrect squares between them. For example, if on the first line you have 5, it means there are 5 consecutive correct squares on this line. In the same way, a number above the column indicates the number of consecutive correct squares in this column. By coupling the information for the line and column, you will be able to deduct where the correct squares are. For example, you can see that the first and last columns are already completed. So the three correct squares for the fourth line are the three blocks in the middle. More than one number by line or column indicates that there are multiple groups of consecutive correct squares, separated by at least one incorrect square. For example, if you have two and two on a column, it means you have two consecutive correct squares on this column, followed by at least one incorrect square, followed by two correct squares. But what happens if you click on an incorrect square? In Riddlestone, you have life points to solve several grids in a row. For every mistake, you will lose some life points. If your life points reach zero, you will fail the level. However, behind some correct squares, you will discover some food items. You can click on them to recover some life points and stay alive. As long as your life points do not reach zero, you can keep playing and try to solve the grids. To pass a level, you need to solve all the grids of that level without losing all of your life points. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you are ready to unravel the mysteries of Riddlestones.